Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Today, I am going to be talking about Kokomi. There are timestamps throughout the video, so please go ahead and use those to get what you want to see and make the most out of this video. All right, we're going to be talking about, in order of course, her stats, her weapons, her artifact sets, as well as some team comp. If you do find this video useful, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video as well. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. Thank you guys for your support. Kokomi is going to have a pretty niche role in the upcoming Genshin Impact character comps and whatever it is that you need her for. So she's going to be filling the hybrid damage, support, healer, sub DPS, DPS, god of the underworld, floaty princess of mass destruction. Well, you get the idea. Um, jokes aside, she's going to be the first of her kind being a catalyst hydro damage dealer that scales off of hp mona does not scale off hp barbara does but she does for healing so she's the first of her kind and she's going to be the first character in genshin that's going to have minus 100 crit rate this is going to be a pretty big one in my opinion so how exactly she meant to be built well we're going to make some build for her in this video and hopefully you can get something out of it. so let's talk about these stats i'm just going to be talking about some of her skills skill sets and a big change that makes her a little bit different than the usual character so hydro jellyfish elemental skill this is her first elemental skill and the thing that you make acquaintance with and the first time you see her it's going to help heal the team and deal hydro damage aoe well let's hope it does enough damage because this is probably going to be the part in which she's a great support it's going to be excellent for support in which case you can drop the elemental skill and then switch off to another character and this elemental skill will probably stay on the field All right so her ultimate skill or her elemental burst rather will increase normal and charge attack damage so you can get a dps window with kokomi when this ultimate is active and this will help make your kokomi a great dps or maybe another character stronger as well kokomi is going to have minus 100 base crit rate what this does and or implies is a strong multiplier for her auto and charge attack not only is that going to be an you know effective thing but the elemental burst will also increase your auto and charge attack so maybe she's going to be really really strong in that sense let's keep this in mind while we talk about her artifacts and weapons so for her weapon i'm going to be starting off with the five star weapons which are going to be the everlasting moon go which is the five star weapon that's going to be coming out with kokomi at the same time so if you want your kokomi to be the best that she could be you're going to use this weapon on her the second weapon that i would use on her for the five stars is probably going to be the skyward atlas it's going to help you greatly increase your attack and is going to be a generally good choice for your kokomi and the third one which is kind of meh in my opinion the memory of dust the memory of dust is not a good one for her but if you do have a shield character it could be okay so i'm not going to be talking about the uh lost prayer of the sacred winds because obviously it does have crit rate on it even though it does have great elemental damage bonuses on it it's just not going to be very viable on her just because of the main that we're not going to be talking about that and i do not recommend this weapon at all all right so the four star weapons for the four star weapons we're going to see the prototype amber making way here this is the first prototype in genshin impact or one of the first prototypes rather in which it has the hp percentage on the actual weapon or the main side of the weapon and this is going to help your kokomi make a support hp build in which case it's going to be pretty okay and not only that but you can also refine this weapon for greater effect it's going to help with the supports giving you that regeneration ability for her her energy all right so the other four star weapon that i'm gonna be talking about is if you did this event dodoko tails would be excellent for her because it's going to be r5 hopefully you guys r5 it and leveled it up because it's going to be really good especially for charged and normal attack damage and since we talked about her stats having the ultimate ability or the elemental burst increase normal and charge attack dodoko tails would increase that effect to much greater heights and i think this four star weapon is going to be an excellent choice for everybody using it. and the final weapon that i would recommend is the three star thrilling tails is going to be incredible on her especially at r5 for the best support kokomi in my opinion what the thrilling tails is going to do is give you an attack buff when you switch off of kokomi as well as this main stat for the weapon is hp percentage 
which Coco may probably need. All right, so we're going to be talking about the artifact. The artifact sets that I'm going to be talking about is for the main carry and for the support as well. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is the four piece heart of depth. This is the one I would recommend everybody to use. It has 35% increase in normal and charge attack damage. And of course, the extra hydro damage bonus is pretty nice too. The second one I would be talking about here is the four piece Shimanawa set, which increases your normal and charge attack damage as well as the plunging attack for 50% in exchange for 15 of your energy. So this is going to be an excellent set for the damage per screenshot type thing. And I really think this would be a pretty good set overall. However, this is going to be for the main DPS carry rather than a simple fourth build all right the third one i'm going to talk about here is the four piece wanderous troop this one i do not recommend anybody to use but it does increase 35 percent charged attack damage it's pretty good but might as well just use the four piece heart of depth which increases your normal and charge attacks and gives you the extra hydro damage bonus fourth one i'm going to be talking about here is the four piece retracing bolite set this is going to be a pretty good set especially if you have a shield character such as Zhongli or maybe even Diona. This will give you 40% normal and charge attack damage when in protected by a shield. I really do recommend this one, especially if you have Zhongli on your team. I don't like this fifth one, but two piece maidens beloved will increase your healing effectiveness, which you can use with a two piece heart of depth set, which gives you um, that hydro damage bonus and a two piece tenacity for that increased HP percentage. All right, and the final one I'm gonna be talking about here is two piece tenacity with two piece heart of depth or you can use the four piece tenacity four piece tenacity would be excellent for the support based kokumi which will give you increased hp percentage as well as an attack bonus for whoever character is going to be coming after kokumi and if you use this with the thrilling tails it's going to give you a lot of attack and it's going to help your next character do a lot of damage for sure all these are pretty usable and i do prefer some over the other for example i would not personally run the wanderer's troop on her but i could be proved wrong if her charge attack multipliers are really high and i'd never run the maiden set because kokomi's healing will probably be more than enough and will suffice for whatever healing your team needs all right so about the artifacts for the hat i would run hp over attack over healing bonus Obviously, if you guys want to run that healing team, uh, healing bonus is only a main stat and cannot be a sub stat. For the cup, I'd run hydro damage bonus over everything and I would follow that up with either HP or attack, both on being on the same field. So if you're running HP on your hat, you might want to run attack on your cup. All right, for the sand, I would say you can run either HP or attack based on whatever weapon you do choose. So if you choose an attack based weapon, HP percentage might be good here. Or if you choose an HP percentage weapon, please go with the top. Other that that I would recommend for the sands is probably elemental mastery. If you're going to go for that, if you're going to go for the vaporize builds, freeze builds, whatever build that you need here for that elemental mastery. It's going to be pretty good So for the substat. Do not go for crit rate, crit damage. Those will be absolutely useless on her. So please go with something like attack percentage, HP percentage, elemental mastery, or even energy recharge. Those will be pretty good for your Kokomi. Please do not do any crit for any of these substats. All right, so we're going for teams for Kokomi now. I would run Kokomi myself with these teams so please make sure you do use these teams and i'll try my best to make it nice and simple so the first team i would go with is a vape kokumi team being the main dps so i would run shangling or maybe even the future toma uh, alongside kokumi kazaha and bennett obviously being kokumi will be the main dps of the team using shangling for support as well as Kaza and Bennett for that increased attack buff from Bennett and the elemental damage bonus from Kaza. That's probably going to be a big team for anybody using a DPS Kokumi. So the second team is a support Kokumi that is kind of niche because this unit, you know, can go with pretty much anyone for support. So if you have Barbara on any team, you could pretty much replace um, Kokumi instead. All right, so. A team that you could go with is Hu Tao or Shang Ling with Kokomi being the support alongside Sucrose and Bennett for the Elemental Mastery and Attack bonus. Um, I really like this team and hopefully you guys do as well just so you can group up the enemies with Sucrose, attack buff with Bennett, 
and use Kokomi for the help with the vaporize. Of course, Hu Tao can clean up and or Shang Ling. Obviously, there are other pyro characters such as the Luke that could also be in this team or Klee even, which could clean up pretty nicely. So anytime you need Barbara, you can pretty much just replace um, Barbara with Kokomi. I'm pretty sorry, Barbara. All right, that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking the video as well subscribing to the channel guys thank you so much for the support on my channel recently i'm trying to hit 500 subscribers so thank you so much for all your love and support consider liking this video subscribing to the channel see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye